Okay, here's our used oil burner right here. And we have an initial starting fuel in this tank here. You only need to run it, and you can see the valve is closed. And then it comes over to right here. This is used oil and, and diesel fuel. Comes through here, hits this heat exchanger that's heated off of the hot water, and then into the oil burner, regular Beckett oil burner. Uh, this is to purge out right at the end of, if you're done using it for the day or week or whatever, this is how you purge out the uh, used oil on shutdown. Uh, in here is our used oil holding tank. This is the level of the used oil in this tank. This is the heat exchanger that exchanges heat from the hot water, which your boiler comes up right here with the hot water, boiler circ pump, and then oil to hot water heat exchanger. Then we've got our hot water out to our zones on this circuit here. So that's it. And then here is the used oil circulation pump. Now, here is the oil nozzle heater. When it gets to 222 on this display, it will start up. This is the boiler water temperature. kicked on. So we'll go back out here. And we can see that's the oil pressure from the used oil from the burner. And there's the fire. Now I'll flip that off. And you can see it spraying used oil. But it should this has actually shut off, and that's the residual oil burning out the nozzle. Give a lot of second. Now, if we let the burner shut off, and there you go. So we fire it back up. So if you look, you can see there's literally, there's really no smoke besides steam coming out of it. There might be a little bit of smoke today because we just started up. See, now it's burning clean. So, that's pretty much the used oil burner system. Here is the control panel for the generator. Oops. Controls, and if you do that, you can see that's the uh, coolant temperature of the generator. Here's the actual generator. which is not in use right now. This was an experimental uh, system to run the generator on used oil, which you can, but not for long term. Okay, here is our used oil uh, heater right here. 
And you can see I had to extend the electrodes out a little bit to get it far enough into the burner head. Now this is probably a week of burning without cleaning the head of it. So you do have to occasionally clean it. And you can see that's why you want to make this a detachable uh, system. So nothing really special, just a regular Beckett burner with a regular Beckett nozzle assembly and then uh, custom made I made this custom uh, oil heater which is just nothing more than here's the sensor wire and then inside is the nichrome wire wrapped around inside of here and that's where the oil gets heated up and then of course there's the burner box so that's that's about it on that but if you want more information let me know and I'll uh, I, I'll try and email you or something, but that's pretty much it.